what's up my boss babies back at it again with another video this one is going to be from china lace wigs really 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 excited about this one because it is something that is a little bit different um it's a 360 lace wig on fire this one is called a 370 lace wig they gave me this really nice concealer i'll show you guys that in the very end of the video this is the packaging that um china lace wigs always does i guess i was in a fun mood when i filmed this video look at that shake look at that jean so this wig is 22 inches it is a 370 lace wig and what that means it's just like a 360 lace wig except you get two extra inches of parting space there are the traditional three combs in the front one in the back adjustable straps i've already did the stocking cap method if you haven't seen that video it's linked below I've already also added an elastic band off camera. I cut off the lace in the back of the wig and I adjusted the straps to go super tight. So this one fits super snug. Now this wig is pre-plugged. You guys can see here I have done absolutely nothing to the hairline and you're already ready to go. So all I did was I brushed the baby hair backward. That way I could go ahead and see the lace clearly. And I just cut it off. Now I did not put all of the cutting of the lace into the video I feel like every time I don't add this step in the video you guys are like well show me how to cut the lace off that's the most important part but if you didn't know I do that in literally almost every single video so I kind of try to skip it sometimes and not do it and then when I don't do it you guys are like well where's that part so you know majority of my videos I do do this step if you guys want to browse now I did put my elastic band on a little bit too loose I could have cut a little bit more but that's just a step I can make tighter a little bit later for now I'm gonna go ahead and add my blast free spray and you guys know this is the favorite way of mine my favorite way to bond my wigs down you simply just add one little coating of your spray along your hairline or wherever you want the um, hairline of the lace wig to sit you kind of let it get tacky for a few seconds by air drying and then you apply it on top the lace that is now you can also use a blow dryer on cool setting i love adding the blow dryer on cool setting because it does make it stick even better but it also will leave a little bit of residue um, and make the spray product that you use a little bit more sticky and a little bit more white so that is up to you now at this point I feel like it is plucked enough for the gods that I really did not want to tweeze it out um, at all um, during this step. So I went ahead and just added a second coat of that spray just to make sure that it was going to hold in place. Now I'm going to just add a little bit of a new thing that you guys I don't think have ever seen me use. And there are these, like, these little wrapping papers and you can get these at your local beauty supply. I got them in the black color and it's supposed to be an extra hold. Now... I am very versed in style, styling and applying my wigs, but there are just certain techniques and things that I am still new to. This is one of them. I don't think I've ever used these on camera. I've bought them twice and like I didn't use them, so I got rid of them. And this is like the third time I've bought a batch, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and give them a try. Now, I will say that it did a great job at holding the lace down without making the lace um, stick too hard to... Um, the paper whereas sometimes if you use a scarf it'll like you know stick to it and kind of mess it up I just wanted to you know give the sort of lace a time or a chance to bond now I'm going to go ahead and curl the hair while the lace go ahead and does what it do so everything that I'm using is listed in the description bar I've seen this at a new local beauty supply store and it's like a um a holding spray like a spritz so to speak um, I'm gonna try to find it on Amazon so that I can link it um, in the description bar for you guys I just seen it and it brought back memories when I used to just get my natural hair um, you know washed and pressed into a wrap at my old beautician she used to swear by that stuff so it was like oh my god memories I thought it used to smell like blueberries it didn't smell like blueberries this time I don't know if I got the right one if they changed the formula or if just my smell is off or you know how you kind of remember things differently than what they really were but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and start the process of curling the hair um, I'm just taking medium size actually large size chunks and I'm using my baby list curling iron linked down below and I'm just doing my best to curl now I am not that amazing at curls curls are very time-consuming I think every aspect of hair is time-consuming and you kind of make time for what you want to as they would say so that's just curling is just one of those things that I never actually made time made time to um, perfect and here I am now and I 
I'm just ready to perfect it. Now what I learned in this process is that it's not necessarily about the product you use or curling it. It's about like pin curls and wand curls and things like that. So I went ahead and did my first row of curls and then I took that wrap off so that I can start to style the wig how I want it to. Now the next time I use those wrapping paper things I will swoop the baby hair first, part the hair in the direction that I want it to go, secure and like style the base or the crown of my head and then put the, the wrapping papers just because I felt like um, it was kind of in the way when I was curling and I wasn't able to do what I needed to do but I should have left it on longer. Don't even know if I'm making any sense at this point but yeah I'll go ahead now and um, make my parting. This is what I mean like I should have done this part first. Now you do get quite a you flyaways in your parting the best way to combat that is foam lotion in my opinion obviously you can use a curling iron a flat iron I am using a curling iron to go ahead and lay those down but I find that having a little bit of a product like a foam lotion helps to just make sure that they don't come back up like it makes it look like you are fresh out of the salon so I'm speeding through and I've already finished this side of my head. This is my left side and I'm absolutely pleased with the curl, with the way that the curls came out. Now I have a little bit more flyaways on the opposite side. Also I kind of wanted that little flip pump thing in the front. Somebody let me know if that has a name or do I just call it flip pump. <laughs> but I added a little bit of foam in the very front that way I can go ahead and lay those flyaways down that you see um, in the video. You could also use an electric hot comb. This is a great way to make everything flat up top as well. And I kind of just use that heat and that foam as a combo to kind of make that all stand up right there and flip over. Now I'm going to finally do the last section of my head at the very top. I find that I always do like whatever side is like the deep part. That's the side I usually will do last. And with each section that I curl, I do add a little bit of the spritz and kind of comb that through before going ahead and um, putting the curling iron on my head. I usually leave the curling iron on for about 15 seconds. And here I am kind of just speeding through the last few steps so that I'm not here forever. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see me pin curl. Um, I'm definitely going to try that next. Now at this point I kind of knew my curls were going to drop a little bit faster so I pulled out these um, pins that I bought from Sally's probably a year ago because I've been wanting to learn how to curl hair and I've been saying I'm going to learn how to pin curl and all that stuff and I just never have so I figured let me just crank this box of uh, pins. They're like duck belt clips but they're like the smaller ones. And this is literally like the first time that I've actually tried pin curling in a long time didn't do amazing but I also didn't do too bad and now we're on the final curl finally now I'm gonna let all the curls set all around and then off camera I think I went ahead into the baby hair I did not really tweeze out much I kind of tweezed out just a little bit because it was a little bit too thick and then swoop the baby hair with my gorilla snot now I'm gonna go ahead and add the powder to the parting you guys can see here the baby hair is much thinner than it was before but not as thin as maybe I would like it I think I'm gonna just trim it um, shorter for the next install um, but other than that I'm just adding a little bit of a powder to the parting you can go ahead and use whatever foundation um, you already have you can use a concealer whatever you have that's closest to your skin tone use that now I'm going in and adding my finishing touches to the wig this one is 200% density 22 inches in length it was a gorgeous straight wig I'm adding my Sebastian shapers as a nice quick last minute hold to the hair now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pin curls now you can see with the pin curls those curls are much tighter when I let them go than the other ones simply because they got to go ahead and set um, in how they were curled if that makes any sense so they definitely held the curl the best and of course I had to go in on insta and show you guys a progress shot if you're not following me on instagram make sure that you go ahead and do that because that's where I do more so real time hair tutorials uh, mini hair clips and kind of show you what's coming next on the youtube channel also tons of pics and clips and videos of what I'm eating what the kids are doing all that's there and I'm Ashley Bedeck over there you guys will see a ton of curling videos um, 
for me I want to learn how to curl my hair backwards forward pin curls um flexi rods I just want to master the art of curls long curls I feel like I can do enough to get by I mean it's common sense put the um, hair on the barrel roll it up sometimes you add spritz sometimes you add a holding spray um you just do different things that's the common sense part of it but just to get like some super fleeky curls and kind of have more a little bit more control over how my curls turn out and understanding how to do them and how to hold the curling iron is something that I'm definitely interested in. I love the way these curls came out. But y'all, I really love the, with the way this is. Like, I feel like this isn't going to be this amazing tomorrow. Now, this is a 370 lace wig, so it has super deep parting. It's a 360 lace wig like most, but 70 now it's just like a 360 lace wig where the lace goes literally 360 degrees or all the way around. The only difference with this one is that you get extra party space. So normally you get four and it'll stop like right here. So with this one you get a whole six. So it gives you more of a full lace wig vibe. Also it did come pre, um, what is this, pre pluck so that was really nice I didn't customize the hairline as much as possible because I just wanted to focus on the curling for today and maybe later I'll go in and um, customize it or I'm pretty sure I will but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one this one comes from China Lace Wigs all the details on this hair are listed in the description bar for you guys to check out thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one so yeah it came with three barrels you have the base here and then you have three barrels and this is the nicest free gift I've ever received so I've got to clarify with them as if this is the free gift that comes with the wig or if this is something that they have on the website for purchase but you get three barrels this would be super cute for some really 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 tight curls to be like super big this one is kind of like a normal everyday one and if you just want some big like you know Victoria's Secret Secrecy curls this is perfect so this is going to be super perfect for me um I already have one of these that came with a few barrels um so it'd be cool to have a second one so I can keep this one upstairs because sometimes it's easier to get dressed upstairs like while the kids are still sleeping but sometimes it's easier to get um dress downstairs when they're awake so um yeah this would be cool and it just snaps right in it just snaps right in and it's not um you know flimsy or anything like that and then you just put it in it does have the right um plug and then there are three settings off on all or zero one and two so obviously zero is off one is like the lightest setting and then two is like the um hottest setting so this is going to be perfect I'm going to go ahead and throw this upstairs so that I can curl and touch up my hair in the morning so sorry if I forgot to show you guys this wish I really would wish I would have paid attention because I definitely would have used this one or this one probably this one for this hair um, and my curls probably would have um, held a little bit better but yeah I just wanted to show you guys my free gifts now back to the video sitting down and I almost forgot to share my goodies with you guys so they sent me over a wand curly kit and they also sent me over this fantastic concealer it looks like it's my skin tone so I'm gonna check it out really quickly I'm not sure if this is stuff that's a free gift or you know just from purchase or if this is stuff that is available on the website this is pretty it's probably not my exact skin tone no it's a little bit lighter but it's perfect as a um, concealer now I probably wouldn't use this on my skin 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 but if I wanted to use it for like my hairline and stuff like that this would actually be super perfect and then they also sent me over a wand curler I don't know what I was thinking but I should have used this in the video now I kind of wish they had sent me that pink because that is super cute and I believe it has multiple bar barrels um, it also has a glove. If you've ever wanted to curl your hair, then you know that uh, it's very, very, very easy to burn yourself. So this is the base. 
Oh yeah, this is really cute. This is the base right here. Um, I believe this is the largest barrel.